All right, Bonehawks, this video is all about Shujinko, and in this video, I'm going over all the recent changes to him because they basically added him to the game, finally, is how I feel. I kind of tricked you being in the center this time, didn't you? You're like, hear him the voice, and you're like, where is he? Where is he? Kind of looks like part of my, I'm part of the select screen, doesn't it? But I'm not. I'm going to be doing this video in three parts just to kind of make it a little bit easier to, uh, to consume. So this part, the first part, we're going to be talking everyone on this side, right in here. Uh, some will have more to talk about than others, and the second one will be this little group in here, and third one will be this little group in here, minus Homelander, because he's not here yet. Alright, that being said, let's get into it with the first one, Ermac. <laughs> Accept your death. Okay, so starting with just the overall Shujinko changes, so the main one is that he recovers from his breaker faster, which means that he's available to be used a lot quicker than he was, 15 frames before he was able to be used. So that's nice, little quality of life thing. And the second thing is they've added a new thing to the moves list called Stolen Moves. Now this will actually tell you the inputs that he has to do the moves with the character since they added some. Uh, it can be tricky sometimes to keep a tab on like, is it up or down or left or right or whatever. You just go to the Stolen Moves and it tells you all the different ones that he has. It would be nice if they actually put the properties of this move in here, of what he steals from this particular matchup, but maybe in a, in a future update. Um, so that being said, going on to Ermac here. So we steal from Ermac, we have that push there. We have the lift. You can see Shujinko's the actual spirit here, which is a freaking super nice touch. Uh, and then we have the Enchantress down, down two move. So when we're here, we're all of our damage is depleting our super meter and not our health meter. And then finally, we have this, which is the full screen low, which recaptures, which is actually a really sick steal. This is one of Shujinko's um, best matchups, I believe, just because of all these steals. He actually has three launchers, and I'm going to go to the corner because I am not great with execution. I'm going to show you how the third one kind of works here. So like Ermac, he can actually charge this move do it regularly. You can also cancel it. And this will actually combo, depending on your character. Um, if you have a character with a fast standing one, it should work because Quan Chi does not have a fast standing one. It's eight frames. And it works for him. Uh, so you basically do your string, but you have to do the cancel off of the APAP punch or the conquest kick uh, in order for it to actually combo. So I'm going to attempt to show you what Quan Chi's combo looks like here. I dropped the ender there, but you you get the idea. Um, so yeah, you do the conquest punch, conquest kick, or apep punch into that, cancel that, and you can combo from there. It's a bit of a tight link, uh, not too bad once you get the timing down, but technically our third launcher. And the, very, the other ones are fairly self-explanatory. Um, so this one here, if you have a character who starts some combos grounded, like say Scorpion Spear or Sindel's Recapture, um, this one here, is a good one for you to kind of throw in there because it uh, it keeps them on the ground and it also holds them for a while. So when you're doing this one, you can actually call Shujinko back out to charge. It would help if I didn't have them on full. Default, sure. And you can call them out to charge and there's kind of a visual trick that I have when comboing this. Um, go, so he's charging. And what I would usually look for when I'm just about to combo, usually you can do something else, like I could throw that out there so he can't break, is when they're trying to wriggle free, you'll notice there's a moment where um, their their feet will kind of, he'll start to pull his foot out of, the, out of the trap, and that's like your last moment. That's like the last little, little itty bit of uh, time that you have right there, right at the end there where he pulls his leg out. If he successfully pulls his whole leg out, you've missed your, your combo timing. But if not, you can still continue your combo and be on your merry way. So that's how you can kind of time things with this and, you know, get this move. Oh, you want to like that out. Yeah, I missed it there. That on me. Let me show you me actually hitting it. Hold on, I got this here. There we go. So, and then Shujinko's recharged enough for us to do the second steal. So depending on the length of your combos, um, because you're kind of holding them there, 
you can recharge and you can get another lift by the end of the combo. So, again, I'm showing you all these from Quan Chi's point of view. Your combo paths will probably differ depending on who you're playing. But yeah, that's that's kind of the main things I wanted to go over with uh, with Ermac here. Of course, this move is great if you're kind of at the end of your health. You want to kind of extend it a little bit longer. And basically, Shujinko, in a lot of ways, especially with this recent patch, has kind of added a combo extender for you. So you can save your meter to do other things. Or you can just do bigger combos with Shujinko. So that's how I kind of think of using him in this particular uh, area. So that's really all to go over with Ermac. Let's go on to the next character here, which I believe is Katana. So Shujinko got some nice changes against Katana. Um, the first one is that uh, this is now minus 12. It was minus 22 before, which was death on block. Uh, you still don't really want to be throwing this out too much, but I mean, something like that where you're at a safe-ish distance might not be a bad idea. Also, another thing that's nice is he recovers a lot quicker after doing the uh, Pan Nato. Before, that was really, really tight to combo from. You almost couldn't do it, like, unless you're in a really certain scenario. But now, it's fairly easy hitting my BNB. And again, this is all from Quan Chi perspective. Yours might be different, but uh, you have a lot more time now. And try and try and figure out your own character's animations uh, so you can see exactly when you can move. Like, Quan Chi, as soon as he starts to smash the skulls together at the end, that's where I'm able to kind of move and do something. Into my combo. Likely your character has some sort of visual clues as well, uh, and that they just made that a lot easier in the corner as well. They also added the multi-hit move with the um, square wave, and I'm still trying to figure out the timing. Right now I'm just mashing up and cameo, it seems to work. It's not no specific timing, and maybe that's, for the amount of katanas that I play, maybe that's how I'll do it, I have no idea. Uh, but I would urge you to not do that. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. Um, Quanchi doesn't particularly have any crazy use for this. It's kind of like an auto combo, I guess. So I could do something like this, and then just do that three times, just to get some damage. It does okay damage, as opposed to actually hitting my normal combo. Uh, so I think that some other characters out there probably have a little bit more synergy with Katana than than Quan does. And then the last thing they change is they gave him this uh, Phantom. Which is nice, and I feel like that's more for characters that don't have projectile uh, to give, like, say, Johnny Cage or something, some sort of an opportunity. Again, doesn't seem to do much for Quan Chi. Just a high 80 damage. The pose is pose, so all the zoning as well. If you're on a fan, something for Katana to think about, but I don't think it's super handy. So, those are kind of the things of note that change with Shujinko against Katana, and let's move on to Melina. Not a whole lot changed with Melina, but I feel like I should go over the things it did. Um, so this recovers faster, which similar to Katana, it was kind of awkward to uh, combo off of, but now I can do like my big damage combo that I do with Quan Chi, so I had to cut it short and do a smaller one. Um, and it's also less negative on block, that being said, it's still minus 33. Well, minus 28 there, minus 33 probably up close, is what it says. Yeah, minus 33, so don't just throw it out there, that's not really what that's for. Um, that recovers a little bit faster. Not sure, there might be some stuff the other characters can do with it, doesn't seem to affect Quan too much, unless I haven't found anything. And the last thing, which is actually pretty big, is you can actually do the straight size as a low, by holding down. And unlike Melina's, <laughs> because everything you can do, I can do better. Jinko's uh, go full screen. I'm having a hard time getting that input. There we go. That is one thing I've noticed with Shujinko since this patch, is it, it's a little bit tighter to get some of his inputs, and I don't know if they tighten those up a bit just to kind of balance with the buffs or whatnot, but... And that's really it, looking at the patch notes here. I'll link them in the description if you want to read uh, all of that. That's pretty much it. There's some visual issues. But yeah, not much to go over. Melina, I think that, uh, that true low sigh is going to be very, very good against her. Especially if you have a, like some sort of a mix-up character with overheads and the strings, you know? So, yeah, moving on. So, Tanya. So, again, not a whole lot changed with Tanya. Um, we have a little bit more recovery on this move, or less recovery story on that move. So, Juan can actually connect his standing three afterwards, since it does knock down. Onto that, whatever. Um, Shujinko does go forward a little bit more when you do the, the spin, so this kind of causes it to go full, full screen. Whereas it could whiff before, every once in a while. Didn't really happen often, but now that's kind of just guaranteed to kind of work. 
But the big thing with Tanya is that they added this Umgadi dodge move. Uh, which is another combo launcher. Doesn't appear to have an aerial hitbox. I was trying to get it to anti air and I couldn't get it to do that. Um, but yeah, it does seem to be a little bit easier to combo off than the drill kick. There's just like a little less recovery on it. Um, but it does less damage, at least with Quan Chi. Your, your character might do more. Yeah, I did find that the drill kick is a little bit tighter to hit my big combos with. But other than that, it's, I mean, we'll take all the launchers we can get, right? It's it's fairly quick, uh, which doesn't really matter if you do it off of the Apep Punch or the Conquest Kick, because it's connecting anyways. Neither of them are slow enough to not. But that's really all the uh, the changes. A little bit more, a little bit less recovery on that. A new launcher. Drill Kick goes slightly farther forward. That's Tanya in a nutshell. Moving on. Okay, so Rain got some really nice changes with Shujinko. So, uh, similar to Katana, uh, this move, sorry, uh, spoiler, that move there uh, recovers quicker, which again, it made it really hard to combo from mid-screen, but now it recovers a lot quicker, it's a lot more consistent, and does a little bit more damage. Um, still, still a little bit tight for like your big combos, at least for Quan Chi's, but it is a lot better and a lot more consistent. Uh, we also got the ability to charge this much as we want and if we fully charge it we get that same crumple effect that most of these things do now chujinko can cancel this it's similar to ermax cancel and i think i forgot to mention this when i did that it does cost one bar of your super meter to do this so it's not just cameo meter that you're giving up here um it is super meter as well because you use the whatever your mind my right trigger whatever your block button is to cancel that so you're using a little bit of your cameo meter, and you're also using your super meter, so this is expensive. But similar to um, the Ermac one, this can create combos. So similar idea, but again, you're using a bar of your super meter. If you do get the combo off, though, you can just pull Shujinko out to charge him to get uh, whatever cameo meter you've used for him back. So, I mean, that's kind of nice, but you are using a bar of meter. So this again would probably be characters who are use grounded combos, Sandel, that kind of a thing, uh, to kind of take advantage of this. If you even think it's worth a bar to use, this gets me around the normal damage that I would do from a regular range steal anyways, or something like that. So I'm probably not going to use this for that. But, you know, a character again where you might extend on the ground might be useful. And then lastly we have this new move, Watergate Activate. Basically... Watergate activate, and it's a launcher. You can do something like this. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. The combos for me from this one seem a little bit more consistent than they do from uh, this one, but the damage is slightly less. Not by a lot, but like maybe 10 ish damage. So if you really, really want to be optimal, you'll kind of use this one more. But if you want something that's more consistent, which is kind of what I like, you can use the Watergate activate. Needs to be a little bit more of a consistent combo. -er. And that's it for Rain. Let's get to the next one. So Shang Tsung, and this one is pretty straightforward. They they um, fixed a couple glitches that came from Shujinko stealing the opponent's cameo. Uh, and they were just visual things. It wasn't anything game-breaking. Uh, the main thing is that uh, he now steals the ground fireballs. And you can do either forward or the back one. Uh, Quan Chi's standing forward will actually combo into far one. The damage isn't very good, but it, it works, and you can use it as a zoning tool. Again, if you ever forget how to do any of these moves, uh, just go to the stolen moves and it'll tell you. Oh, interesting, actually. I just found something else out. It does not show you for Shang Tsung what, how to do the up or the down. That is missing. Good to know. If you, if you didn't come here, you might never have found that out. So you press down, down back cameo down. Whoops, down back cameo down. Go from front to back. And then go down back cameo up. Go from back to front. Never wipe back to front. Whatever they say. So yeah, there you're welcome. I guess for whatever reason, I guess I wonder if it's a DLC thing. I should check the other DLC characters. Maybe they uh maybe they don't have those either. Against General Xiao, not a whole lot has changed. That overhead recovers a little bit faster. Not really sure what the purpose of that is. If it's maybe to assist with the character that's Wan Chi, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I believe seven frames faster it recovers. 
And then we also got a new combo launcher, which is this flying knee, which appears to me, at least for the Quanchi, again, going by this by this character, this move is better for corner combos than it is mid-screen. The damage is very comparable mid-screen, doing something like this to opposed to doing something like this. And I mean, this is also a mix-up, like this is a low. But I mean, you do have that little bit of element as well to it if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, again, this seems to be just more for corner combos. I do net bigger damage off that one in the corner. Post mid screen using this one. But again, your mileage may vary depending on what character you use and that kind of a thing. But yeah, not really much to go over there. I think there might have been also a glitch fix. Nope, there wasn't even that. That's literally just those two things. I'll just kind of demonstrate here the differences between the two as far as damage-wise goes. So I'm doing the exact same combo. The only difference is the move that I use to launch. That. That. So 363 with the low attack. Three eighty-eight with the uh, hop kick there, or the hop knee. So about twenty damage more, and it is a little bit tighter to hit. I did drop it once that you never saw and will never see because I edited it out through the magic of computer software. <laughs> but this is one of my favorite ones that we got. So he only steals two things. So the first one is you can do the low hairball now. So the down forward input for the regular hairball is fine, and then you just go down afterwards. So let's see if this one's. In the it is. Um, so yeah, so these are both off of his down forward steals, which means this takes one Jujinko bar to do. But the second one, and I love this because not only does he steal the move, but he steals the sass. And he just put up and he gets steals Queen's Command. But this is the one that kills your opponent's cameo. Keep in mind, these moves you will only need in this specific matchup. Like you'll never need to know how to use this move against the entire cast, because you literally only get this move to face against Sindel. So that's where sometimes when I forget about those things, it can seem a little bit more intimidating than it is to learn this cameo. But you just gotta remember that you're only losing, learning this for this specific matchup. You can cater your combos and stuff to that too. So let's say that, you know, Sindel's like trying to charge Sony on our ass or something. And she is like, nah, bitch, you get back. They still have the same stun. They go away the whole time. Can't use breaker, can't use fatal blow, can't use forward throw. Similar to, you know, you know how the Sindel's move works. <laughs> Shijinko coming out with the sass. I absolutely love it. And we are ending part one of this on the biggest redemption arc for Shijinko because he was useless in this matchup. He stole just this slide, which was okay as an ender, but it often would side switch. And if you hit a combo in the corner and you're trying to get all the damage and a side switch is used, it's not exactly what you want. He also stole this parry which is useful now, a little bit more, uh, but he would stand behind you before when you would do it, and uh, it wouldn't actually do anything, or it would be very, very hard to hit. Um, so yeah, so the, so the practical takedown, which is the one that... So this recovers a little bit faster, and is a little bit safer on block, but it's only it's still minus 14 on block, so don't be... Out. Let's throw, show you here. We're just kind of throwing it out up close. You can do a little bit of a safety buffer by putting the Apep Punch or the Conquest Kick kind of behind it. Um, you can use that. I just use that as a combo ender. That's really the only time that I use that. It's a little bit better now. Uh, but now we also steal the uh, Assassin's Throwing Stars by down forward and then down cameo. Which is highly... I, like, well, I'm taking it. Don't make my mind behind you. Like this, like this, like this, like this. Like this. Um, yeah, so that's so obnoxious. So, so obnoxious. I love that for us. That we get those throwing stars. So, yeah. So, there's that. And then also, our now, which used to be the parry input, is now a command grab input. And it is a true command grab. Uh, so, we have Reiko here ducking. We're going to have Shujinko come out and do the command grab. And it hits mid. So... Jinko gives every single member of the cast against Reiko a mid-command grab. I don't see this lasting too long, if I'm being honest, but I'm going to take it for the time being, because not only is this a mid-command grab, it's also a combo starter. Which is crazy. The gravity was a little funky there for, for the combo, but uh, let's see if I can't show you what kind of what that would look like on like a regular 
we'll have him stand, block all. And with your particular character, you can actually have tick throws, which means that they block one move. So here we have the guess of the low mid. Uh, not really a guess, sorry, it's just whether there's a gap there or not. But the low will combo into that. And they're just trying to block and you're hitting them for a full ass combo. Same with something like this. Panic one, high overhead, high throw. Big old combo. Because you chose to try and block an overhead. And it ended up being a throw. That is so obnoxious. I love it. So go into practice mode and just set your opponent to block. Just try and do some strings. Uh, you'll notice that a string will not tick if you see Shujinko. Not actually if the grab whips. That one right there is extra good because we have 2-1 low, 2-1 overhead, and now we have 2-1 throw on top of that. That's just insane mix. So yeah, I wonder what, does this one work? That one works too, look at that. I don't think even Reiko has any tick throws, so this is really obnoxious. Again, a tick throw is when you can basically combo into the throw. There's nothing they can do about that, unless they want to try and jump or something. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, in case you weren't familiar with the term tick throw. Then lastly, he has the parry, which is updated, so it has a much longer active frame, active time, where you can actually hit something, and Shujinko actually goes fairly far in front of you, which is going to be way more useful, especially with the big hitboxes on Reiko's strings, and I can read him coming in, parry with Shujinko. This is much more useful than it was before. So not only did they fix all the things I had problems with in this matchup, but they gave him stuff I didn't even think that he, he needed, but... I guess NRS thought differently, so. And that's it, that's part one of uh, Shujinko, breaking Shujinko down, what all of his buffs are, kind of showing you, and uh, the new stuff against Ermac. So we'll have part two out tomorrow. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't, because I make new videos almost every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks, all that stuff, and we'll see all you Bonehawks in the next video. Accept your death.